Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Um, today we are going to do the February budget plan with me. Um, I did try to do a few things differently this time than what I did in December in the last um, plan with me that I did. So hopefully that will be more effective for these videos. As always, check out the description below. I have links to my social media, any referral codes or discounts, and I will also try to link to the shops that I use stickers from. Um, so I did go ahead and lay out my monthly view ahead of time. I've got my payday sticker over here in the corner. I'll write in my two paydays. I've got my student loan sticker down. I've got these bill pay stickers down and these are for bills that flux in what is due and then i've got little flags laid down these are from the budget sticker book from agenda 52 that i got at hobby lobby and those are my auto pay that do not fluctuate in price and so i've got all of those stickers laid out i've got a little phone bill sticker due um, down there and then i've got some foiled payday stickers put down as well so what I do is I go through my weekly view and I do my account balances, my bills, and then my spending. And then this sidebar here I use for my credit card balances. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just lay out um, the rest of what I need for those. So I've been using the Happy Planner Budget Sticker Book. And I mean, I can actually show you, I've used a decent amount of it. So I'm gonna see if I have any more of the account balance stickers. If I don't, that's not a big deal. But um, if I do, I want to get those used up. But I can obviously just write in with a pen if I'd like. So let's see, I've definitely used a good amount of this book. Oh, it looks like I don't have any more of those pages. So on that note, we're just gonna write it in by hand. So, and I did not write in the amounts of these bills yet. And I don't think I'm going to because I've got it written down in so many other places in this planner. I don't think I really need it written there um, unless it's a flexible paint. Well, you know what? If I know the price off my top of my head, I can write it in. So imitating the stickers that I was previously using, if I can find a page, we had account balances, checking savings, and emergency is what I use. So I'm just going to put checking, and I'll write that in on Monday. And then, um, and I'm actually gonna write it differently, reserve and growth because that's how my accounts are actually called in my virtual wallet that I have is they are a checking reserve and a growth. And so I'll just fill those in on Monday. And then over here, this will be my credit card balances. And the cards that I currently work on paying are my MasterCard, my PNC card, my Target card, and Zulily. And I actually don't have any charges um, on these all the time, but I go ahead and write those over there just so I have it. And then I'm going to do my auto loan balance over here. And that's what I'll do for every week. I will write in credit card balances. I will date right here what day I track those. And then I will write in the four main credit cards that I use and then track my auto loan balance as well. And then this bottom um, column here is just where I write in my weekly spending or my daily spending. And so that's how it'll be for each week. I'm actually not even going to go through and set up each week um, because I like just writing this all in on Mondays when I am tracking it. So next, and I didn't even show you all, I did go ahead and pre-fill one page. If I can get to it. So 
So at the beginning of each month, the um, monthly budget planner gives us this page here. And I did go ahead and completely fill this in. This is all of the bills for the month of February. So I've got my fixed um, expenses here. So I've got my Fed loan, my HP Inc., my subscriptions, um, internet, mortgage, electric, all of that. And then down here for variable, I put in my credit cards because those prices change. And then um, happy scrappy, the price doesn't change. It just got put down there because I ran out of room and I might do it differently next time. And then I put off like, I put down like one off expenses. My birthday's in February, so my car tags will be due in February. So I added that down here as a variable expense. And then for savings, I wrote in right here, um, 52 week savings challenge. Savings was already on the page. And so I wrote in, what my starting balance will be from that savings challenge and then what my two deposits will be from the challenge. And then if I make any additional, I can write it in there and I'll total it out. Now, goals for next month, I did not write them in. Um, honestly, my biggest goal is to pay off the credit cards and pay off my car loan. That's what I'm focused on. I didn't feel the need to write that in. Um, but since I've got this page done, I'm going to go ahead and pull the um, expense tracker page and the um, bill pay checklist and fill those in with you all since I already filled the other one in. So how we are going to do this is I am just going to write the bill pay list in referencing this. Um, because it's already in order. I've already got it numbered the way I want it for the most part. So I'm just going to essentially mimic this page onto this, um, with the variable expenses being mixed in with the fixed expenses. So the first payment that is due is a fed loan. Um, then we've got HP Inc. And then my PNC card, Target card, um, MasterCard, Sweet Bean Plan Sub, which if you watch my other videos, you'll know that I absolutely love her stuff. Definitely encourage people to check out Sweet Bean Plans. Just writing in my other necessary bills. My daughter might sing in the background some because she's watching the Minions sing. Okay, so I wrote all the bills in over there. I'm not worried about filling in the due date and the amount right now. I've almost got them memorized, but I've also got them all written in over here. I don't need it written down so repetitively. It actually doesn't even make sense to me to have these two pages. Like, I feel like you could use one or the other and be fine. But I do want to make use of as much of the planner as possible. So what I like to do is I like to see when my paydays are going to be, which I've already laid out in my monthly view, and calculate when I need to do paychecks. So I get paid on the 8th and the 22nd. So what I like to do with this page is, um, let's see. Sweet Bean Plans is on the 10th, meaning it comes after that payday. So for this one, and then let's see, what other? Um, Hulu is on the 24th, meaning it's after the 22nd. So this is why I do eventually go in and write these dates, but I don't need them necessarily. So what I like to do is I take this page. Let me zoom in for you. So I take this page and I know that I get paid on the 8th. So this is the first bill after the 8th and I get paid on the 22nd. So this is the first bill after the 2nd. So I know that for these bills, I need to use my second paycheck that I got in January in order to pay those. And then I get paid on the 8th. So I'll use my first check to pay all of these bills. 
And if, you know, one isn't going to fully pay all of these, then I know I need to pull it from another paycheck, but I find a way to make it work. Then I know that with me getting paid on the 22nd, these bills after the 24th will be covered by that second check. And so I just write a little two beside them. And this really helps me to know what's coming out of each bill. Last month in January, I used this sheet right here to write out like payday one and all the bills that were going to fall under it, and then payday two and all the bills that were going to fall under that. But I think this month, instead of doing that, I am actually going to use this page here strictly for my MasterCard because um, I do get cash back on my MasterCard. I use it the most and I put a lot of bills on it. Um, that way I can get the cash back, but I already have the money set aside to pay those bills. So I think this one page is going to be strictly for my MasterCard. Obviously the goal is to not exceed these lines. Let me zoom out so you can see. It does have a good amount of lines on it. So the goal is to not exceed these, make sure the bills are covered first, and to make sure that I get my spending down so I can continue to pay off my credit cards, my car, and my student loan. So that's how I'm going to use this. I'd have nothing to fill in to it right now. And then the only thing I've got left to fill in is my due dates, amounts, and check off whether they're paid. And I'll do all of this when I sit down and do my account balances on Monday. So that's how I'm using the Budget Happy Planner. That's how I'm using the Budget Happy Planner. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.